a regular. You are a legendary regular here. <laughs> so, I mean, how, how did you get into like the music scene? Would you say? How, what was it? What's your backstory? Uh, my backstory is from the age of about 11. I had a friend that worked for my uh, parents' family business that used to have uh, mixtapes right. from Kiss FM in New York. Nice. And he was flatmates with the local DJ, and they used to give them to me and my brother. My just used to listen to these mixtapes, thinking. Yeah. Why is there no talking on it? Yeah. It's just continuous music. Yeah, yeah. And that's what really got me intrigued with how DJs mix two records together. And I got taken down to the club that this DJ worked in during the day when yeah. I was about 12. He showed me the DJ booth set up, sound system. I was like, you know what, this is what I want to do. This, so, is, this is my life. Yeah. So from then on, that was my goal. So I didn't really have any other focus apart from working hard, and saving up, buying a turntable, buying another turntable, saving money on vinyl stuff like that yeah. So, yeah but I think you know if you enjoy something you don't mind working hard I mean first few years I worked for nothing just to get experience to playing clubs sure who did you listen to growing up who was like your uh, well the, the thing was that, you know this was before super clubs yeah and you know the, the whole kind of mixed mag era so for me it was the inspiration I was getting was through these tapes and then when I was about 15 or 16, I used to be able to go into the local clubs right. and either watch the DJs or play the first hour because I was already DJing by then. So they'd let me play the first hour as long as I didn't drink any alcohol. Was that daunting for you or was it just like you well, were no, in your element the, and loving the, the, it? To be honest, during the first hour, there's no one in the club. So yeah. you've got experience of working, it, sure. working in an environment with a big sound system sure. and monitors. Whereas when you're in your bedroom, you're just kind of practicing sure. and getting a feel of mixing two records. But there's a difference between doing that and actually set in the mood for the night. So I yeah. gained a lot of experience from doing those early club nights. Is there anyone out there who you'd still like to work with? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty lucky. I've DJed with pretty much every everyone on the planet. Yeah. Um, so. I, no, I'm, I'm happy. I'm, yeah. yeah, you're content now. Yeah, yeah content. So you you know, I've been able to put on my own uh, stages and arenas all around yeah, the world. So you know, it's good to have people that I, you know, I'm fans of as well yeah. come and play for me. Definitely. And where's your favourite place to play? Like if you were going to play, like anywhere where you've really been? Argentina. Where's the kind of Argentina? Why is that? Just the crowd. Yeah. It's just amazing. Um, the energy. You can do these big, big festivals down there for sort of. Uh, 20,000 people were just maybe an anna myself yeah. and that's it but they just jump up and down dancing from yeah. the start to the finish they don't lose energy they're just best best crowd in the world yeah and is there anyone you've worked with and you think this this guy amazing he's gonna be the next big thing or I mean guy Joe who I signed to the label he released his first album for us Esperanza and that did really well he's just released the second one uh, called a thousand words and that's been getting you know, great reactions and feedback. And he's he's kind of one of those talents which, you know, he proves he can make the sort of down tempo, yeah. cinematic sound as well as the club sound as well. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of what Guy does as a producer. Yeah, and, and shows like the X Factor and stuff. Are you a fan of those shows, or do you just think, do you know, what we don't need them, or do you think it's good for new talent to kind of work? It makes good that. TV. Whether it I'm a fan, good, yeah, <laughs> I, I can. It makes really good. TV, I mean, I think it's it's horses for courses. You can see a lot of those stars that are put on there. Once their moment is gone, yeah. the management aren't interested. They're just yeah. tossed to the side, and you yeah. can see them probably singing on a cruise ship for the yeah. rest of their life. So it's a bit, a bit sad when you see someone's dreams yeah. and their bubble pot, you yeah. know, right in front of their eyes. But that, you know, that, if I had uh, a night off, I wouldn't spend it watching the X Factor yeah. anyway. So. Fair dudes. Well, on that note, we'll leave it at that. But thank thanks for having much. us. You've been amazing. All right, thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks. thanks. That's, the, that's the music industry. It's, uh, it's a cool beast.